The United Nations has concluded that the only way to resolve the conflict between the Jews and the Arabs is to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states. However, the Arab League Secretary refuses to accept any compromise. In a speech to the United Nations, Arab League Secretary Azam Pasha says, The Arab world is not in a compromising mood. It's likely, Mr. Horowitz, that your plan is rational and logical. But the fate of nations is not decided by rational logic. Nations never concede. They fight. You won't get anything by peaceful means or compromise. You can, perhaps, get something, but only by the force of your arms. We shall try to defeat you. I am not sure we'll succeed, but we'll try. Despite unending opposition by Pasha and the rest of the Islamic Palestinians, the majority recommendation for partition was approved. A map showing the effects of the partition plan was drawn. The Jewish state was to contain roughly 5,500 square miles of land, and the Arab state 4,500. The Arab Higher Committee spokesman told the UN that the Arabs would drench the soil of our beloved country with the last drop of our blood. The riots continued, and between November 30th and February 1st, 427 Arabs, 381 Jews, and 6 British had been killed. In January, the holy men of Al-Azhar University in Cairo proclaimed a jihad, or holy war, against the Jews. Large-scale assaults began on January 9th, 1948. Approximately 1,000 Arabs attacked communities in northern Palestine. By February, the British reported that they lacked the forces to drive the Arabs back and turned over bases and arms to the Arab Legion. On April 26, 1948, Transjordan's King Abdullah said, All of our efforts to find a peaceful solution to the Palestine problem have failed. The only way left for us is war. I will have the pleasure and honor to save Palestine. The UN blamed the Arabs for the violence, reporting, Powerful Arab interests, both inside and outside Palestine, are defying the resolution of the General Assembly and are engaged in a deliberate effort to alter by force the settlement and visage therein. Jamal Husseini bluntly replied, We did not deny this. We told the whole world that we were going to fight. Because the partition resolution was never suspended or rescinded, the State of Israel was established on May 14th as the British left the country. Consequentially, Egypt, Syria, Transjordan, Lebanon, and Iraq immediately invaded Israel. The West Bank is like a belly in Israel. The West Bank was conquered by the Jordanian Legion during the War of Liberation. They came from the other side of the Jordan and they captured this area. Of course, they wanted to capture all over Israel, but what they succeeded in is capturing the West Bank. In a certain night, we succeeded in reinforce the Jewish community with a small squadron of uh, Palmach fighters who were carrying with them one of our secret weapon known by the name the Davidka. Davidka was a kind of 
for TARS that was invented by David Leibovitch. And it was Shelly, a giant shell that uh, the range was not big, but the noise was terrible. It is very nice. From the Jewish quarter, they started shelling the Arab quarter. The Arabs know that in the Jewish quarter, we are so short with bullets that not even one shot will be performed unless we are going to be attacked. And all of a sudden, we, the shelling that came from the Jewish quarter into their area scared them to death. So the expression is going like this, in the same very night. All the Arabs from Sfat took their legs in their hands and ran away from this place, considered to be one of the miracles of the War of Liberation. The initial phase of combat ended after the Security Council threatened to cite the Arab governments for aggression under the Charter. By this time, the Israel Defense Forces had succeeded in stopping the Arab offensive. A representative from the UN was sent to Palestine to mediate a military truce and negotiate a settlement. However, all attempts made to reach a reasonable resolution failed. The Jews had no reason to agree to any settlement. They were becoming more successful in defending against the Arab forces and were also expanding their control over territory outside the original partition boundaries. In 1949, between February 24th and March 23rd, armistice agreements were signed with Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan, and Syria. The Jews had won their war of independence with very little help from the Western world. Ironically, the Arabs ended up with much less land than they would have had they simply accepted the partition plan to begin with. Though the Jews had won, the Israeli death toll was 6,373, nearly 1% of the Jewish population. 